The building and construction industry is a major contributor to today's climate crisis, being responsible for 40% of all human-made greenhouse gas emissions, 40% of worldwide virgin resource consumption, 40% of global waste production, and 40% of the total energy use. At the same time, the world's population is expected to increase by 2.1 billion people by 2050. In order to provide adequate infrastructure and housing for this future generation, we will have to construct the equivalent of one New York City every month for the next 40 years. The challenge of transforming the construction industry into a more sustainable one is therefore huge. In Hilo, the Block Research Group shows two innovations in digital concrete construction that set a new benchmarks for lowering embodied emissions, reducing construction waste, and minimizing resource consumption. Hilo's roof is a doubly curved concrete sandwich structure with two thin layers of reinforced concrete of only five and three centimeters thick. Spaced 10 centimeters apart, the two layers are connected by three centimeters thick compressive stiffening ribs and vertical tension rods. With this lightweight two-layered structure, the roof derives its strength primarily through its highly curved geometry rather than from the material with which it was built. Non-standard structures in concrete, such as this one, require complex custom formworks that use massive amounts of cut timber or milled foam as mold material. The production of these single-use molds is costly and wasteful. The Hilo roof structure was instead built using a flexible formwork based on a largely reusable kit of parts the primary structure of the formwork is a cable net consisting of individually cut cable segments connected at custom designed nodes. The net is tensioned within a wooden boundary frame. A thin fabric membrane stretches over the cable net and is connected to the nodes to form a well taut surface onto which the concrete can be cast or sprayed. The custom designed nodes of the cable net were an essential logistical instrument throughout the entire construction process. They provided control and precise measuring points for the insulation sequence. They were the fixation points for the steel tension rods that tie the two layers of the concrete sandwich together. And they reduced the large roof surface to small quad patches, making the complex geometry much more manageable on site. All key details of the system were worked out through prototyping in collaboration with experts and partners from industry. The principles of the developed solutions were then translated and integrated into a flexible design-to-fabrication workflow implemented in Compass. Compass is an open-source computational framework for research and collaboration in the AEC sector. In the next three decades, it is estimated that 300 billion square meters of floor area are to be built. Most of these in urban areas, where medium high rises of 10 to 30 floors are a very common typology. Over 40% of the mass of all these structures are in their floor slabs. Traditional concrete floor slabs typically consist of a solid section of concrete reinforced with large amounts of steel. In contrast, the Hilo floors use a thin, doubly curved funicular shell with vertical stiffeners to transfer loads to the supports through compression only. The resulting forces are accumulated in the corners where they are cancelled by post-tension ties. Thus, by placing material only where it is structurally needed, following the flow of forces in compression and tension, and by keeping all materials separate, the high-low floor system saves more than 70% of concrete and 90% of reinforcement steel compared to the standard reinforced concrete slab. But it also allows for very easy recycling at the end of its life. If Hilo's roof is its neon billboard representing a radical rethinking of the design to construction process, then the floor system represents solutions that are immediately usable in today's practice.
The floor provides a sustainable alternative to the typical reinforced concrete floor slab, thus addressing the twin challenges of reducing embodied emissions and lowering the required resources. So, considering that in a medium high-rise, 40% of the mass is in the floor slabs, the potential impact and the scale of this innovation becomes abundantly clear.